All right, what's the question? Here it is. How many DNA letters are required to code for one amino acid? Say what? Well, we know that a DNA gene codes for a protein, right? A DNA gene is made of uh, some combination of four letters, A, T, G, and C. And the protein is made up of some combination of amino acids, is it not? And so those four DNA letters, if they code for the protein, then they must code for the amino acids in the protein, right? And so, um, what do we got here? How many DNA letters? How many different DNA letters? A whopping four. And how many different amino acids? Twenty. And so, the DNA code involves four DNA letters coding for twenty different amino acids. So back to the question. How many DNA letters are required to code for one amino acid? Well, we're going to do a little thought problem, kind of like they did back in the 1950s after Watson and Crick discovered the initial, you know, made the initial discovery about the structure of DNA. And so uh, scientists were asking this question, and so we can kind of follow in their footsteps by starting at the very lowest possibility. And that would be one DNA letter. So you might say, what are you talking about, Professor? Well, I'm talking about taking our four DNA letters one at a time. How many different things can you code for if you take your four DNA letters one at a time? Not very many. I mean, that's uh, an A, or a T, or a G, or a C. That's four letters one at a time. How many possible things can you code for? Just four, right? Just four. That's not good. Four possibilities. Four possibilities. No good. Let's take the next step up. How about two DNA letters? Two DNA letters. How about that? What we're talking about now is having four letters. We're going to take them two at a time. So we've got two positions now. And either one of those, each of those positions can be an A, T, G, or C. So you can have A, 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 T, A, C, A, G, or whatever. And uh, you can write them all out and figure them out, but there's a very simple mathematical way to figure out the number of combinations of four letters taken two at a time. Here's our two positions. That one could be an A, T, G, or C, four possibilities. This one can be an A, T, G, or C. The total number of combinations is 4 times 4 equals 16 combinations. Well, that's a big jump from just 4. Is it a big enough jump? How many things do we have to code for? 20 amino acids. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's try the next step up. 3 DNA letters. that be the answer? In other words, we have four letters and now we're thinking of taking three at a time. Well, now we have three positions. You can have A, each one of them could be A, T, G, or C. So we have A, 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 T. A whole bunch of different combinations, right? And so there's four possibilities in this position. Four possibilities. Each one of them could be an A, T, G, or C. That's four. And so what's the total number of combinations now? 4 times 4 times 4 equals what? 64, right? 64. Have we got enough combinations now? We got way more than enough. I mean, we only had to code for 20 things, right? But that's what the uh, scientists uh, back in that time, back in the 1950s, mid to late 1950s, figured out that the DNA code is a triplet code. The DNA code is a triplet code. That is, DNA letters are processed three at a time. Three at a time. But now we've got a different problem. What is that? We got 64 combinations for only 20 amino acids. We'll have to figure that one out sooner or later, but not on this video. That's it for this one.